So after an above average summer, actually a great summer, we're back to regular Washington weather, which is liquid sunshine. So I was to put up this here pop-up gazebo thing thing so I get to working on the Chevelle. And I'm going to swap out the drum brakes for disc brakes so I can actually stop. And soon we're going to be top back. This is what I'm working with. Um, 70 disc brakes off a of big block 70 Chevelle. These are the same ones I got the um, the that 12 bolt we're in with the uh, GM 456 gears out of. Same car, he's doing that as a pro touring car, so he didn't need any stock stuff. And 70, um, something I just learned is 70, I think it was 72 they switched over from the, uh, whatever this is called, spindle, being um, cast into it in 72. Before that, they were both on like this. So this would be correct for what I'm doing with my Chevelle. We don't end up being a big block four speed. Isn't that right? Uh, 70 is bolt on. Mm -hmm. 72 is when it started with the cast? Or 71? 73. 73 it started with the cast? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some 72s, but 72, 73. So late 72s, like yeah. the ones I got from you? Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Pontiac Dave always knows. <laughs> <laughs> My shit's already undone. I have one man. I'm taking his wheel off. Uh, All right, wheels off. Now he's going to cry about being, I'm one man. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, quit picking on me. Oh, roll the slim. Oh. What? Hi, Julie. Drop. Drop. <laughs> Drop. This is my life. Please. Thank you kindly. Oh, most merciful day. <laughs> hey, these are clean. Did you scrub these before? These brakes? Cleaned everything. Before uh, I bought them for you? Yes. Wow. My man. Time Pat to wait around. People do shit. Patron saint. Oh. Wait, you didn't clean them today? They're already clean. I'm saying, did you clean oh, them before? Before. Yeah. Let me have the. Are you done? Saint. Oh, that came off easy. You know the term make things look easy? Yeah, I'm familiar with that. I wrote a, I wrote a book about that type of stuff. Did you? Yeah, it was a bestseller. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should read it. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I could do a part two, you know. It's been a while. Just keeps it from slamming down, coming apart, and Shooting maybe the taking at your you. head off. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, not a good thing. I got a good head on my shoulders. Yeah, I got a good head on my shoulders. I want to keep it there.
Here you go. I know I'm sexy, but damn, man. Stick to your species. Sheesh. I ain't in the BC Ivy. Everything's loose. Come back with all the cotter pins in. Mm. So funny. Zaya just blurred out. You got out. 11 sixteenths? Yeah. Zaya just blurred out. Top back. There's not one of those three over there? We only have the one I brought out. No, I wouldn't got some. Here you go, my man. There's your craft back. Whenever Zay sees like the video that she does or sees a picture of it, he says, Top back. Yeah. <laughs> That's my man. I wonder if he blurts that out of daycare. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You see the charger? No, I don't. You see how they're just snug. Mm -hmm. Nothing's tight. Yep. I'll tighten them some more, put the cotter pin in the hole, and bam. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, People know don't take the shock out because you could kill yourself with the spring. So the shock will keep everything in in your face intact and all your dental work on point. Ain't that right? Usually, yes. For the most part. Hello, disc brakes. And just like that, we have disc brakes. And not a minute too soon because it's starting to rain again. Yeah, baby. So now all I gotta do is order new hard lines for the brakes and uh, I have the proportioning valves. And a new uh, master cylinder, brake booster. Then I'll be top back. Yes, sir. Yo, welcome to day 8,222. It's captain's log. This is Desi. It's like it's been like four months since I bought this car and I made a lot of progress on it. But um, finally stopped raining, so I'm back on the car. And I just came back from my boy Biscay's. Um, shout out to Jeff and Jake down there, always taking care of me. And um, I picked up a few things. 
Um, finally, it's not a torrential downpour, so I can get a little work done. I'm climbing under the car and all that good stuff. But um, if you haven't seen this car yet, if you're new to the channel, I got about 2,000 new subscribers in the last week or two. So all you new people, make sure you um, click on the link above your mobile. If not, I'll link it to the end of the video. So you can see the backstory on this Chevelle and the other two cars I bought with it, which are a 74 Barracuda, which I sold. Yeah, but I got, I'll tell you why later. Um, and a 55 Chevy Cameo pickup which I am in the process of LS swapping right now. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'm trying to do a little something later on. I'll tell you about it probably in December. Anyway, so, um, but this car is damn near rust free, sitting in the storage container. That's about the gist of it. It's got a 402 barrel in it. Uh, we got it running after sitting for 28 years. And it's just a, it's my dream car. One of my dream cars. I got a lot of dream cars, but this is top five dream cars. Just a 70 Chevelle, just a 70 Malibu period. And the fact that I got a convertible was even better. And I paid $5,000 for it, so yeah. There are still deals out there to be had. Hey, let me show you why. Oh, I don't think I did a video with the fatties on here yet. Yeah, 275 Mickey Thompsons on 15.8 Corvette rallies. Hey, GTO. Oh, matter of fact, if you haven't seen the video of this one, um, I'll link that above and probably at the end, but you can also text uh, or put it in the search bar, uh, Mossy GTO, and be able to see the story on that. It's a two-part video. It's pretty dope, a couple years ago. And um, actually, I have an update on this one. I completely forgot to do that. I'm at my buddy's house, so. But anyway, so the other owner of this car had plates on it, vanity plates, no top. And in like 92-ish, he put these ones on here off another car so he could drive around. Um, I know that feeling. So, yeah, I'm gonna get to work on this. Look at that. And I can still go 295s back there, which is probably what I will go. But these were already mounted on the rallies, brand new rallies, brand new tires. I think I picked them up for 500 bucks. So I was like, I gotta have those, so. All beautiful. So I got a brand new gas tank right here. If somebody out there probably asked, why not just use the one that's on it? Uh, it's not rusty. I mean, from what I picked up from the tank, it's not rusty, but a brand new one was like 130 bucks. So I'll take the other one off, clean it out, maybe use it for later on. I'm not going OE gold with this car, so not to worry about that or chalk marks, anything like that. I'm going to have fun with this car. And um, yeah, so, and then brake lines and straps. Uh, I think these are the, uh, I think they're called squeak straps. They go on top of the gas tank. Yeah, squeak strap kit and um all that good stuff and then power brake booster for disc brakes couldn't use the original one that was on it the power drum so had to get the power disc one and matter of fact if you are a company that sells restoration parts for this car or any of my other cars and you want to get down with some promo shoot me an email let me know um but in the meantime these companies since i bought it with my hard-earned money will remain nameless I don't do I don't do free promo, um, but I did come back from my boy Biscay's and them and pick these parts up. So they're not paying me to say that. Those are my boys. I've been dealing with them for about 13 years now. So they always take care of me, Jake and Jeff. Appreciate y'all. Um, so yeah, let's get to work, man. I can't wait to be top back in this. Can't wait to be top back. Top back. <laughs> and where we gonna be? Where we gonna be, Zay? That's right. Let me know what you guys are working on down below. Leave me a comment. It's always cool to see what other car guys are working on. But yeah, this is this is one of my dream cars, man. Top five dream cars of mine easily. And I picked up a lot of them um, the last couple of years. Uh, knocked off a couple of those on my list, like my 69 Mach 1 and um, 63 Impala SS 409 car. Um, I, I got a lot of dream cars, but this is top five, probably top two, really, behind a 71 Cuda. And the fact that I was able to get a convertible was even better. And the fact that it was $5,000 was, was the icing on the cake. So there are deals to be had. You just got to be the first one there with cash. So let's get it. Also, real quick, I'm sure there's somebody out there going to leave me a comment and say, why aren't you working inside a shop? I have a shop. It's just full of other cars. It also don't run. And I didn't expect this one to run when I picked it up. So I got many things going on. Like I said, I'll tell you more about that probably in December and maybe it'll make sense. And if not, whatever, who cares? It's my life. 
I got a 70 Subaru convertible and I'm working on the outside. Whatever, so. But that's why it's out here and not in the shop all nice and warm because I got to kick some other car out to put this in there. And my the battle wagon is down right now, so I haven't really been moving cars around. And I got to fix that too. And it's been raining and it's whatever. My, you know, play that violin for me. Boo-hoo. Car guy life. Whatever. It is what it is. So, but that's why this is outside and not in the shop just yet. But I plan on driving it back to the shop when this is all set and done. So. So here is the heart of the beast. Whoa. 402 barrel. Um, the block says it's a crate. Um, crate engine replacement. But it's a 70 to 72, so I don't know what happened to the original engine. They put this one in there. And um, so yeah, it has power drums, but this booster will not work with the um, disc brakes, so I had to get a new one. Plus, I don't know if this one's any good anyway, so I'll just take it off, put it to the side. And yeah, I also gotta get a power steering bracket. I just realized that, I remembered that. Yeah, or I can just use my muscles one or the other but yeah so let's get that booster off side you gotta get from the inside and then there's also the brake lines are bolted to ah, brake lines are bolted right here so once you get those off it falls out that's cool and also <laughs> alright so inside of this uh, booster is a spring so I don't do this at home but if you, well, you probably never ever seen anybody rebuild one of these in person because once you knock these, you know, this, this covers on this cover and then it slides like this. If you slide it back the other way, there's a spring inside that'll shoot it out and it'll probably slit your throat or chop off whatever body part it hits first. There's a lot of tension in here. So you gotta have a special tool to compress everything and then turn it and then slowly bring it out. So, but it's best to just buy a new one. I'll keep this one for later. Um, I don't, I'm not going to need a power drum booster, I don't think, but maybe somebody will one day, I don't know. So I'll keep it, try to throw the new one in, see how these brake lines are going to line up first. Whoa, it's off. So here's that nut I was talking about. This one was so old, the old one's so old that this was pretty much stuck on here. So it just twisted the actual um, rod with it until it came out of the little fixed nut inside, so. That's cool. And brake lines. Actually, it might just match right in. Oh yeah, I forgot. This, um, this booster is very old. And it's cool that these uh, reproduction boosters have this uh, finish on them. Cad cadmium finish, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Cadmium. So, and also, I, I saw a paint company. I can't remember who it is, but. They recently came out with um, a paint that mimics this. Even has a little goldish, purplish, greenish tint to it. So that's pretty cool. As I slice my face. 
Okay, let me make sure there's any special direction for I put this in there. Okay, so, so we can put it, test fit it in there. I think I'm gonna change my lines. Good, they go right to it, huh? Let me double check if I need to replace those right now. I thought I would have to because a convertible route is different than a, um, a hard top, but these route right to this uh, master cylinder, so I might be all right. Let me ask the sensei. All right, so I am gonna replace the uh, brake lines. They look good, but I think I'm gonna replace them. But I gotta run to work. I gotta work for the man. And then I'll mess with this probably tomorrow. But yeah, so I run the brake lines and then I can bleed the brakes. I still gotta get some rotors and flush the fluids. And then we'll be able to hit the streets, so. Getting close, man. Getting close. I know my little man was barely in this video. So if you want to see a funny video from when he was a year and a half, uh, check this out. Go Zay. Go Zay. Go Zay. Go Zay. Get down. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get off me. Those are my keys. Mine. My keys. My keys. Back up, big head. Man. Zay Zay. Where is your, where is your, where's your hair? Where's your hair, Zay? Good job. Where is your feet? Good job, good job. Where is your heart? Where is your finger? Good job, where is your hand? Good job, where is your eyes? Good job, good job. Where is your ears? Good job, baby. What color is your shirt? What color? Green. Good job. What color are your shoes? What color? Black. Good job. Where are your teeth? Give me my keys, you little monster. <laughs> really? Straight jack me? All right, I'm leaving. Bye. I'm walking home. Mm-hmm.